Hey, what's up, guys? It is, in fact, Terensu again. And once again, I've been proven right. I just keep, I just, you cannot stop me with season four. I said that this was going to be a smaller, more balanced focus season with only one or two characters. It came true. In my earlier video a day or so ago, I said that the most likely release date was either the 10th or the 24th of November. Well, lo and behold, if you look behind me, Microsoft Store does it <laughs> to Bandai Namco again. They leaked the release date. It's been taken down now, but it, it didn't stop flying wonky. And just hats off to wonky. That guy is just constantly watching the internet for tech and leaks and news. And it's very possible somebody reported it to him. But he's the one that reported it. So to the victor go the spoils. Um, season 4 is apparently launching November 10th, according to a Microsoft um, store page that's been taken down now. Uh, my guess is that Saturday they're going to pull the hole. Uh, guess what, guys? You can play this Tuesday, so get ready for the next battle. Um, and thanks for waiting and all that. But I'm, I'm super excited about it. I can't wait. Obviously, Tuesday, all that's going to be available is the balance patch, which will probably drop Monday night. It seems like when Season 2 and 3 came out, the patch actually came out the night before, but you couldn't actually buy the character until uh, the next day. So that's probably how it's going to work here. We'll see the update and probably a new menu and the balance changes. And then Kunimitsu will go on sale uh, whenever the Steam or PlayStation Store, depending on which uh, which device you have whenever that updates. So yeah, really that's all I have for you today. I am super excited about this. Um, I've been waiting to play as Kunimitsu again in a mainline Tekken game literally since 1994. Of course, Tag 1 and Tag 2 are non-canonical, and the Tag games are kind of weird anyway, right? Because it's a Tag game, the mechanics are just kind of strange and different. This is canonical. I mean, Kunimitsu, even though it's the original's daughter, um, I think that's a fair compromise to the fan base. It's Kunimitsu's daughter who's, you know, you, you don't even think about King 1 anymore, be honest. No, none of you out there are like so obsessed with King 1 and mad that King 1 died. Uh, you just you just take King 2 as the continuation and, you know, no one will ever speak about King 1 again in the series. And fortunately for Kunimitsu 1, it's probably going to be that way with uh, Kunimitsu going forward. Let's just hope that uh, she's a popular character, she's strong but not broken, and that a lot of people buy her and pick her up and that they bring her for Tekken 8, which I think will will be the next step in the Tekken franchise. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys online with Season 4.